My name is Ronen Adar, and I'm the head of additive design and manufacturing at the Lego Group. We actually started using additive manufacturing back in the 90s for all kinds of metal and polymer applications. At the Lego Group, we have a mission to inspire the builders of tomorrow. And therefore, approximately around 2018, we started asking, can we use additive manufacturing for consumer goods? Ever since then, we started developing additive manufacturing for our quality, quantity, and obviously safety needs. Most important thing is for us, additive manufacturing sits together with injection molding as a complementary technology in our manufacturing setup. AM gives us the opportunity to enable new kinds of play, new kinds of functionality and shapes that we weren't able to do in the past. In the future, we're also hoping that it will give us new kinds of flexibility and the speed that we are expecting from that kind of technology. The first element we've ever launched was a part of an exclusive set back in 2019 as a part of the LEGO Inside uh, Tour. But of course, the LEGO Duck is the first element we've launched as a standalone. The intended application and purpose with the Duck was to release it to the market and get some feedback from our consumers. We are still in a piloting phase currently, which means that we really want to learn from the market what they think about the play experience, the quality, and so on. Of course, we had a lot of challenges in uh, releasing the duct to the market. We worked really hard to make sure that the duct lived up to our safety and quality standards. We worked really hard on stabilizing the process and getting tolerances uh, that are plus minus 30 microns, less than half of a human hair and worked really hard on optimizing the process in post-processing and coloring to make sure that we are moving towards industrializing the setup. The value of the duck is that it taught us a lot about what fans and consumers expect from us in terms of play. The movable beak showed us a lot about what kind of functionality we can do. And of course, we are still in the piloting phase, so we expect to learn a lot more. We saw that the duck was very successful among our fans. But of course, behind the scenes, a lot of the processes in additive manufacturing are very, very manual. Therefore, we're focusing a lot right now on automating and scaling up the production, as well as developing new technologies with our partners for the future of the industry. Some of the specific design challenges that the LEGO Duck helped us with is experimenting with all kinds of new and movable uh, functions. As I said, we are using additive manufacturing as a complementary technology to injection molding, and therefore it was a good vessel for us to experiment with new functions that we couldn't do before. During the creation of the duck, we worked with partners from all over the world. Uh, it was very important for us to work with best-in-class partners in order to make sure that we are targeting more automation and more industrialization in the process. I think it's very important that the industry as a whole moves in that direction.